Uh, kid scored two goals, uh, Price. Uh, obviously, people wondering where the goal's coming from. He looks like a keeper, 117 games with Portland. He's got the dub experience, and it uh, looks like he can put it in the net. I think the one thing he understands is the pace that the game is played at. And, and uh, you know, he had a real good future with Mike. And you, you can see it in the way that he plays. You know, he plays the game fast, and, and everything that he does in the offensive zone is, is directed towards the net. Uh, Jack Walker may be the most reliable guy out there in the fact that uh, he's going to be a big player for you. Well, Jack's going to be a huge part of our offense, right? And, and that's that's what you're looking for you're in, in the development, right? You're looking for the platform where guys are moving and they continue to get better. And Jack is case in point, uh, exemplifies exactly that uh, traje trajectory. More of the process now, and uh, I guess whittling down, it's going to be tough uh, breaking the news to some of these guys. Always is, but I think a lot of these guys have a good understanding. You know, when you have a bunch of 15-year-olds out there, it's time for them to get home. It's time for them to uh, go and, and play on their club teams. And, and I know that they'll all be grateful for the experience. And, and knowing that reality is close for them, to, you know, they're not that far off playing playing in the Western Hockey League. Your thoughts on the goaltending uh, as well? So the goalies were good. You know, they made saves when they had to. And, and I like the way that they battled. And we knew going into training camp that uh, there is going to be a battle. We've got, we've got four good goalies here right now that are going to be battling for two spots. Anybody really stand out this evening? Well, I think that, uh, you know, uh, the Phillips line was good. They, they generated a lot. Jack Walker was good. Reds is taking huge strides, and, and uh, you know, like, like I said, the, you expect the, you expect your returning players, players that are familiar with the environment, you expect them to come and play well, and, and uh, we saw that tonight. Okay, I do a story on just something else, just a brief uh, your thoughts on three on three overtime. Well, you want to try and get it over in a hurry, I guess. <laughs> I think it's, you know, it's good for hot. Like it's, they, they've talked about it for a long time, right? And uh, well, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Uh, obviously, quickness is going to be valued. And the points on the line. No different than four on four. I think the one thing is, is it's going to end up, it's going to end quicker. And, uh, you know, the one thing that they're trying to do is they're trying, I think, to eliminate the uh, shootout. Well, it's hard to really have a firm opinion. I'll have a better idea of where we are coming out of the weekend, but we know that we're going to be young. That's you know, that's no secret. We we know our group's going to be young this year, and, and we've lost a lot of scoring, so we're going to have to find scoring through uh, committee. How are you feeling about the way the team's looking right now? Well, wow. You know, I, I like I like the way that our veteran players came back. I like the, the push from our younger guys, and we really haven't had had the group together. So it's you know you got your 20s that don't play today, and Joe Joe doesn't play today, so it doesn't really give you an honest evaluation. When can we expect to see the final roster? Well, we got guys that are going to the NHL camp. We have guys that. Uh, you won't see the final roster probably till mid-October. Thanks. Yeah.